Hello, my name is Jack. I am a geography graduate, so I studied geography at university uh, until 2017 when I left with a degree in geography, so I thought what would be fun. Um, obviously there's videos like this on YouTube presently, so I thought it would be fun to give it a go as well and basically do a round of GeoGuessr and see how well I could do. Now I've played this once or twice before, uh, as you can see there, I have got 25,000 points, which is the top score as well. But, um, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go. So I'll try and keep these to about 10 minutes, I think, but we'll, uh, we'll take it from wherever we get. So, round one. Grim day. Oh, I didn't say I will do UK only um, today. Purely because it's a little bit more simple than, uh, than the whole world and should be a little bit quicker as well. So I think this looks initially like Scotland, right of way, does that say? Lover's Lane, right of way, leading to Glenarin Road. Yep, so that's most probably Scotland. Um, and it looks like this is a dead end, brilliant, okay. So we'll go back the other way. Also, there is water over there, which is to the south, so this is either in some kind of estuary or uh, the islands or the very southern tip of Scotland, but that's probably unlikely. I should say as well that although I did study geography at uni, um, countries rarely came into it. Yeah, this looks like a river rather than a, a lock, but you never know. Oh, let's see this pub sign. Nope. Obviously that's a bit of a waste of time looking at pub signs, but you never know. That's a very Scottish um, lorry, which would lend its... Here we go. Naval Base Clyde. Yes, yeah, so it's the Clyde River. Um... Assuming it's going to be around here somewhere. In fact, let's see if we can find it. I'm assuming if you've if you're watching this, then you've probably seen. Is that it there? It could well be. Yeah, I'm assuming if you've seen this, you've probably seen um, Geo Guesser, sorry, Geo Wizard, um, on YouTube. He's he's pretty. Uh, pretty big so if I do more of these I'll try and not oh, that said rue there rhu that must be where we're going I don't know where it's gone we'll carry on but yeah I'll try and not do too many I'll try not copy him too much um, in terms of what he does I'll try and do a few different bits obviously if there is anything that you would recommend that I try uh, feel free to let me know and I'll see if we can give it a go Oh, this is going to take forever. I'll uh, I'll speed up until I find something relevant. Right, okay, so I've just looked at the compass again and it's pretty clear that we're going north-south, not east-west. So we're not there, we'll be over here somewhere. Which probably makes more sense as well because um, that'll all look quite built up, which it doesn't really look like here. Uh, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I probably should have uh, not dived into the map so soon. That was probably a mistake. But as I say, I'm relatively new to this, so we'll live and learn. Head back to where there is some relevant information. And I've forgotten what this town's called as well. Rue. So in many ways it should be quite simple. It looks sort of like goes around there and then back up over there and there's quite a bit of built up stuff over there which would suggest it might be something like this. And maybe over there is in Kill Chatton Bay over there. Is there an island? I suppose that could be an island. This looks like a bay of its own as well. So I suppose we could be around here. 
forgotten the name of the place again, but it's three letters, so we'll know it if we see it. Is that a sign? That looks like a more... Rue, there we are, Rue again. Looks like a more useful sign. Yeah, Argyle and Butte, okay. I'm pretty sure all this is Argyle and Butte. All this here, so... In fact, Butte's right there. So... Right, so as not to spend forever on this, I will just take a guess, because otherwise we'll be here far too long. Could be anywhere down here, couldn't it? It's less likely. True, and it could be around here. Sort of bays. I don't know how big Rue is. Right, we'll go, we'll guess around. Well, seeing as I've looked at all that, we'll guess. Not there. There. It's not right, but we'll see. Oh, okay, so it was North Clyde. And it was South Facing, so I was a little bit, I, I did get bamboozled by the compass there but 3,800 points isn't bad round two brilliant okay Geo Wizard always says go downhill so we'll do that this looks more like England at first glance um, but you really could never know it could be sort of the Scottish lowlands as well it doesn't really look like Wales is that a National Trust sign? No. What's up there? No idea. Let's keep going. Another sign. Shouldn't stop at every sign because they're not always going to be useful. Well, they'll rarely be useful. Only the bigger signs will be useful, really. Oh, what was that? He says before. Stopping at a tiny sign. Stonesfield Faller. Yeah, it's not very helpful. Farm shop, not helpful at all. Oh, how long is this road going to be before we get anywhere useful? It definitely looks like England, I must say. I don't know what it is about it, but it, it does look English if you were to ask me and I was to uh, put my house on it, I would probably guess England, but it's unfortunate seeing as it's the biggest of the four countries we could be in by quite some way. Right, I'll speed up again until we find a sign. Oh, no need. I found a sign. Woodstock. Okay, so we are in England. Is that where a music festival is? Maybe. That looks a nice estate. What's that? I feel like I've heard of Woodstock Festival, or is that in America? I don't know. But that strikes me as a Southern English name, A44. Feels like it'd be around here somewhere. A40, A44. Oh, was that A44? Yeah. Uh, can we see Woodstock on there? I uh, don't think we can. B443. We're never going to see that, are we? Stonesfield or Coombe as well. Oh, the A44 is well long, so it could be anywhere. Brilliant. But I guess if we follow it, we might see it. Oh, it goes for miles. Absolutely miles. Stow on the Wold. This does strike me as the kind of place... Oh, Woodstock, there we go. Blenheim Palace. It did look nice. I did say it looked nice. Right, assuming we're looking down that road, are we? To the south. And it could be that one. Is this even where we are? I have no idea. But that is directly to the south and it's a very straight road down to the palace. It could be... Oh, it could be that. 
Yeah, it could be that, because it's, what is it, precisely. It's always hard to tell when it's upside down. B4437, is that what that says? For, yeah, it is. Okay. Right, and it's actually the same road, isn't it? Okay, so that makes sense there. So if we're up here somewhere, uh, we were miles along, right? I totally forgot where we were. Oh dear. That farm, is that the farm we went past with the signs outside? I doubt it. Uh, let's just, it could be there, I suppose. Let's just guess here, because I can't be bothered working out. Okay, not too bad. Uh, we were a bit further along, but what can you do? Okay, next round. It looks identical place. So I think England again, probably southern England, although you never can tell what's the road called. That'll be helpful. So South Lodge is at the place. That must be what that house is there. Oh, another long road. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're on a bigger road. Was there any signs? Were there any signs? Was there, were there? Strewed Lane. Strewed Lane. Oh, there we go. Broadbridge, Heath, Horsham. A28 something. I mean, it does sound southern again, doesn't it? 281. Where's Horsham? I've heard of that. Let's see if I can read his van. Oh, he's running away. Guildford, right, okay. Guildford. That is in Surrey, Guildford there. So, A281. Doesn't say how far away Guildford is, but you'd assume relatively close. 246, 281, there we go. And we're heading, oh, we're heading south. Oh, turn around for, okay. Right. Is, are we on the 281? I don't know. It's saying turn around to head back to Guildford. So southbound that is. So basically, have we gone too far down to the 281? And it's basically saying turn around now. Horsham Road. Does that mean we're heading nearer to Horsham? Because we did see a sign for that. Although we probably can't. Hedge our bets on that. Oh, I don't know. It's got to be near here somewhere. And it was probably off to the side. It wasn't Dunsfold Road. Oh, hey, Dunsfold, that's where Top Gear's track was. Is Dunsfold Aerodrome. There it is, Top Gear Test Track. So are we near there then? Are we near Top Gear? Or are we not? We could be here all day looking for roads, couldn't we? We should probably work out where we are a bit more precisely than just a general vicinity because it worked pretty well for the last round, but it's not going to do it every round, is it? Right, Horsham is that way, south, A281. So where is Horsham? It's not going to be as far as Oxford, is it? Where was Oxford? Did I see Oxford? No, I don't know what that was. Oh, I don't know. And I'm beginning to stop caring. It's got... Oh, it's a big place, surely. So if I zoom out, because I've heard of it, so it can't be that small. There it is, right? A281. And there's some sort of roundabout, which would look like was there, so... No, but we were going south, and it says... Yeah, okay, so... That makes sense. 281 is a roundabout. Turn around if you want to go back to Guildford. What so do you reckon we're down there? Has it got a name, that road? No. No, it can't be down that one. Oh, dearie me. Right. Which, is that that roundabout? 
where it said turn back towards Guildford. Sloan, Slain Street? No, that wasn't it, was it? There's roundabouts everywhere. Maybe that roundabout's too big to be it. But the A2, whatever it's gone, is gone. Am I too zoomed in again? Maybe. 281, so where does it go? Guildford, oh, do you know what? I can't be bothered. Right, it'd be up here, let's guess. Nope. I got my compass backwards again, it was that side of the road. But yeah, that must have been that roundabout, unless it's that one. Either way, nearly 5,000 points, 60 off, so not too bad. Oh, it's very similar again. Countryside. S Southern again. Do we reckon? Mm. I don't know, it's less, less easy to say here. I don't know what that says. What's this road called? It's a little horseshoe, so that'll be helpful. Oak Grove. Can we see where the... What does that say? For who owns the bus stop? Oh, he's too zoomed in. I don't know. They use blue bins anyway. Or do they? I don't know what that is. Right. Geogesser Wizard will go downhill again. Oops, sign. Fawn and Brandon. Bury St. Edmunds. I've never heard of any of those before. Horinger. Bury St. Edmunds. What's that? Great Barton. Barton Hill, well, that'll be helpful. Which way down here should we go? National speed limit, so let's go the other way. Oh, I'm in a place. Town centre, so Ipswich, right. Okay, so now I've got to work out where Ipswich there is, right. Can we see Bury St. Edmunds or similar? Ipswich is to the east. Well, presumably it could be over there, so south. What does that sign say? Shortcut and overshoot. West Suffolk College. Right, okay. So Ipswich is to the south. We've got that far. What was the other one? Great Barton Castle Hill. What was it? It was called Hill something, wasn't it? Berry Hill, Berry Road. Oh dear. Um. See again, I think I'm over, too over exuberant in terms of getting to the, uh, to the map, I should probably wait a little bit longer. No, that wasn't it, was it? What if we zoom in a bit more? Trouble is, you don't know how far north from Ipswich we are. What, what was the road called again? A14, is that? Yeah. Okay, A14 is that way. So A14 is to the south, and that will take us to Ipswich, so it could be anywhere up here. Great Green, that sounds like a nice place. Ber there we are, Bury St. Edmunds. So, are we here? Some sort of junction or in a town sort of thing. So it could be there, couldn't it? Sending us to the A14. If we are actually in Bury Town Centre, Bury St Edmunds Town Centre, that could be the case. Anyway, that's not what we want. We want Great Barton now, don't we? Newmarket. Is that where they do the races? 
Was a hay market? I don't know. I don't like horses. No offence if you do. Great Bradley. How many great places are the Great Saxon? Oh, there's tons of great places. Too many. Three on one road. I mean, this feels very close, doesn't it? But we're probably spending way too long looking on. If we if we were in Berry, then we can't be too far away from that. Hill? We saw a hill, didn't we? Something hill. It wasn't Barrow Hill though, was it? Or was it? Oh, I don't know. Right. I'm going to guess again. I'm going to assume we were near Barrow Village Hall. We weren't because that road was called Oak something. Oak Road. Oh, it's frustrating. If I was going for a perfect score, we'd spend longer, but I can't be bothered, so we will guess. Oh, Barton Mills was... No, we weren't looking for that, were we? We already found that. Or did we? Okay, All right, I need to write things down, I think, because we are... I have no idea, so we're going to guess on this road here. Oh, and it was just across here. Oh, I was way closer to Berry than we thought. Okay. Barton Hill. There we are. Oak Grove. Oh, well. Last round. They initially strike me as Welsh-looking houses. Oh, but that is Stoke. This is Stoke, 100%. Because I've driven through many a time. Leak. A50. Well, if it's not Stoke itself, it's near Stoke anyway, Staffordshire sort of way. Because I've driven along here many a time, trying to get a bit further down the M6 before you hit the, uh, what do well, you know, the, uh, the 50 mile an hour speed limits that they've got going on at the moment. Although it's 40 here, so it's not much better. Um, you know, so I'm relatively confident about this one. Heading straight in. Where's Stoke? There's Stoke. I mean, it doesn't go through Stoke. It sort of goes past, to be fair. So um, It's this one, an A500. But did it, say, it said Stone and Leak. No, no, Leak isn't in Stoke. It's near Stoke. How near though? That's the question. But it's definitely around here. That's, I don't know if those red bridges is sort of Staffordshire wide or just in Stoke. Because I've seen them a lot in the past when I've driving up and down. Okay, so M6. Hanley and Newcastle, right, so we are near there. It's going to be a nightmare to find out where though. Right, it's this road, 100%. It's just how far up, because we've seen signs for stone, unless stone means stoke. I suppose it could. Sort of thing they're doing stoke, innit? Um... Uxeter and Derby, we're going south. Sorry, what does that say? Utoxeter. Utoxeter. Never heard of that before. Oh, there you are. Um, stone, there we are. So stone is just off to the left. Little Stoke. Right, so presumably... In a quarter, I oh know that's, there's a tunnel, there's a non-traffic tunnel, what does that mean? Is that even the same road? No, it's not, is it? Right, so going south, turning left, stone. So where's that A5, whatever it is, road gone? 520, 
Is that what this is? No. Oh no, it could. Um, no, it could be that one, but it's no, it's the wrong way. This one maybe. No, because it's turned left to get to stone. Unless it's just left because you've got to get off the roundabout and go around off the motorway even. Yeah, it could be. Um, in fact, yeah, it most probably is. So I'm pretty sure it's this road. Uttick, sir. I just saw a name there. Or did I? Maybe not. Okay, we're we guessing around here then. Oh, it's road. Uttick's a road. Is that the road we're on? A50. Oh, it's got to be, hasn't it? This has got to be near it. And then you need to turn off and then you go down that way to get to stone. On the A520, is that what that is? It is, right, okay, so we've got to be here. Yeah, look, truck and van place there, which is, must be that there, so, or there. So we were right in front of the last house on this, or three houses in. Sorry, Wales, I said you look like Stoke, or vice versa, but there we are. Right, 5,000 points on the last round, that wasn't too bad. 22988. It's not a PB, but it's uh, not too bad. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, any suggestions? If you enjoyed this, then drop a like, subscribe if you fancy. This is obviously my first video, but I can do more. Let me know what you fancy seeing in the future. And yeah, see you in a bit. Bye.